Hello everyone and annyeonghaseyo. My name is Philip and welcome to our next science talk. Today we're going to talk about how to see atoms. In our last episodes we talked about the nanoscale, the wonderful world of atoms and molecules which are a billion times smaller than what we're used to in everyday life. But if they are so small, how can we actually observe them? Well, first idea, why not use a microscope or a magnifying lens? Atoms! One, two, three, four, six of them! The problem with optical microscopes is that light itself is in a way larger than atoms. Light is nothing but an electromagnetic wave and in the range where our eyes can detect light, the length of this wave is between 400 and 800 nanometers. And as a reminder, an atom is smaller than one nanometer. As a rule of thumb, one can only resolve structures that are half the size of the wavelength used. And even though scientists found ways to play some tricks to improve that resolution, it is still not good enough to see atoms. So that's it. Um, the answer is no, one cannot see atoms. But wait, 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 wait. If, if, if you just stretch your definition of to see a little bit, then there are actually ways how to create images of atoms. If you, for example, do not use visible light, but something with a much shorter wavelength, for example, electrons, then you can actually detect the positions of atoms. Let us for now ignore the weird fact that, that electrons are waves sometimes and just look at the beautiful images that are produced with such an electron microscope. Each bright point you see here marks the position of an atom in a crystal. Another way to see atoms are the so-called scanning probe methods. They essentially work in the same way as reading braille. But instead of using your fingers, scientists use a very, very, and I cannot stress this enough, very sharp metal tip that is used to feel atoms on the surface. In this way, it becomes possible to see atoms, molecules, and even to move them around. Psst, that's what we're doing here at QNS. It's pretty cool. And last but not least, let me show you a very cruel way to see atoms, the atom probe. How does it work? Don't take it from me, take it from Sheldon J. Plankton. Tear you apart, yeah. bit by bit, yeah. molecule by molecule, atom by atom. Thanks, Plankton. So essentially, you take a sample and completely take it apart down to every single atom. To do so, you shoot a strong laser at your sample to evaporate atoms and from the timing and location of their arrival in a detector, you can reconstruct where they came from and what type of atom they are. There's just one tiny catch. You spend a lot of time in preparing a nice and precious sample just to immediately destroy it again. And that's just a bit depressing. So there are actually different ways to see atoms and it is very important to watch them. First of all, because atoms are the fundamental building blocks of the world that we live in and they should be studied. And second, you better watch them because they cannot be trusted. Atoms make up everything. That's all folks. If you want to learn more, check out all the links that we provided in the description box. Please subscribe and see you in the next episode of Science Talk.